Today I'm going to show you how to utilize the section control functionality on the Datatronic 5 or Fieldstar 5 console from Massey Ferguson. On the Datatronic 5 or Fieldstar 5, you will notice on the map screen there is an SC button. Section control must be first unlocked on this console. Contact your dealer to learn more. Section control is available for ISO compliant implements that support section control. The Datatronic 5 console has a nice feature that allows you to control more settings on that system. Let me explain more. From the map screen, when you touch the section control button, it will switch it from auto to manual. This will allow the section control to switch off automatically when in auto mode, but in manual mode, it will not switch off when I go over coverage area. If I press and hold this button, it will give me a few more options. Again, I can switch it to auto mode. Also, I can control whether the sections will turn on or off within your headland. In this case, you can see here I have a boundary set with the blue line, and then within the boundary, I have the headland set, indicated by the light blue line. If I want to control more of these options, I can select the SC button here. So within this allows me to control more of the tolerances, the overlap and underlap settings, and also define that boundary. In this case, I have a 30 foot NT air seeder, of which it's a 30 foot wide. So I'm using a headland of 60 feet so I can make two passes within the headland. For your overlap settings, this allows you to control how much the sections overlap the previous worked area. In this case, 0%. And also how far I can overlap my boundary. In this case, I have it set to 50%. So having this set to 50% means I can go over my boundary by 50%. Let me explain. As you can see here, my left section just went over the boundary by 50%, which turns off that section. Also what we can do is control the tolerances of inside the field. So we've talked about the tolerances on the outside of the boundary. You can also control it in percentage form inside the field. So this will control, while I'm inside my field boundary, how far I can allow or tolerate the outer sections to go over previously worked covered area. So let's say I'll set this to 50% as well. Now notice I'm driving right next to my previously worked area. And if I drive over into previous worked area, that section must overlap by 50% in order for it to turn off. So as I drive closer, so this section, once it gets 50% over previous work area, it will then switch off. Also what we can do, we can control the, in, rather than percentage form, we can have a similar controls, but in feet form. So in this case, maybe I don't want to work a percentage. We can leave these at 0%, for example. And I can set the outer tolerance by feet rather than percentage. So you can have a, just a little over three feet for positive and a negative. So if I have a negative number, it will turn off two feet before the percentage. Okay, so we'll set this to negative two feet, for example. Now you'll notice that my left section, my outer section turned off because I am negative two feet away. So I'm clo too close to that previous worked area. Now that I've gotten two feet away, the section turns back on. This also works when you're coming in, not just the outer section, but you can also have that set for when all of your sections are coming over previous worked area. So this has a little bit higher tolerance where we can go up to six feet or more, negative or positive. Again, negative leaves a gap, positive leaves a overlap. So let's set this to a six feet overlap and see what that looks like. Now, when my implement gets six feet over the previous worked area, you will notice that the sections will stop right there. So the nice thing about using the feet, I can be driving at different speeds. So you can see here the darker green that is six feet distance. So in short, I can choose between percentage of overlap versus feet of overlap or underlap. Using the feet or the distance allows me to create a gap. Having a percentage, I cannot create a gap because I cannot go to a negative percentage. Furthermore, if you need to make adjustments to the on and off delays, in the implement setup here where we have we can have three sections, if we touch that, it brings us a little bit more control of adjusting your on and off delays. In this case, my on delay is 3.5 seconds and my off delay is 1.75. Now this is coming directly over from the operating mask, the ISO implement settings screen. This is highly recommended that this is not adjusted by default unless you absolutely need to. 
Alternatively, this should be adjusted in your ISO operating mask itself. So if we swipe over to the operating mask, we have settings, in this case, the MTU drill. We can go into settings, section control setup, and this is where those numbers are coming from. So it is recommended that you change any sort of on and off delays in your ISO operating mask itself, not in the section control screens, unless you absolutely need to. All right, so back into the section control settings, we've talked about your percentage and your distance controls. This is important that, that you accurately have this for maximum efficiency for your section control. Well, there you have it, the Datatronic 5 Fieldstar 5 section control functionality. Thanks for watching.